Hello friends today we will learn how to make this amazing slide so let's begin today's tutorial on slides and cells This video tutorial is divided into four parts in the first part we will go into the new slide hit blank and select a new slide then i will get into insert and then into shapes and choose a rectangle i will go to the top left corner and drag this rectangle over the entire slide this will cover the entire slide then i will get into formats shape fill and i will choose this golden color the shape outline will be no outline now i will get into insert again but this time i will choose a text box i will stretch this text box over the entire slide here we will type in the words that we want in this case i want to type in welcome so i will type in welcome then hit the text box and then increase the size to 100 Also what I will do is change the font type from Calibri to Ahorini. Now I will adjust the size of this text box. Then I will get into arrange. I will get into arrange then into align and then hit align center. After this again I will get into arrange but this time I will hit align middle. What this will do is it will bring this text box right into the middle. Now comes in an important step. I will select this entire outer rectangle. Then, using the Shift key, I will choose the text box. Remember, the sequence is important. Outer box first, and then the text box. Now, once that is done, I will get into Formats, Merge, and then I will choose Subtract. And this is the end of the first part. Now, in the second part, we will add few shapes. To do that I will get into insert shapes and I will choose a rectangle. Here I will draw a small rectangle after the word welcome. Make sure that the length of this is taller or higher than that of the word itself. Now after that I will select this rectangle and I will get into shape fill choose the color black and shape outline as no outline. Now I will choose that same rectangle again and hit control D. I will get a similar rectangle. Here after this I will stretch the second rectangle across just like this and I have to make sure that this length or the breadth of this is way more than that of the word itself. I will bring it over the word and then stretch it across. Remember the breadth of this rectangle should be way more than the word itself. Now I have done this I will take it back and keep it very close to the smaller rectangle then I will right click on the large rectangle and choose the option of send back This is the end of the second part in the third part we will add few animations for that I will get into animation and the first thing I will do is hit animation pane so I will get the sequence of how the animation will happen then I will choose the small rectangle get into add animation and choose wipe after this i will go into the animation and increase the duration to 0.75 seconds after this i will again choose that rectangle get into animation and choose the motion path line the default path is in the downward direction i will get into the effect option and choose the left Now when you look at it it will only cover half the word to make sure it covers the full word first i will click on that arrow you would see a shaded rectangle out there now click on the shift key using your mouse drag it all the way to the left what shift key will do is it will ensure that the drag across is in the straight horizontal line now this is the end path or the entire path now we will do the same thing for the larger rectangle click on the add animation come down click line motion path and then this is again in the downward direction go into the effect option choose left again you will see it only covers half the path here again i will click on that arrow as you can see click on it hold on to the shift key and now drag it all the way to the left this time make sure that the shaded rectangle has crossed or at least touched the first arrow this is very important to make sure it stays in line 
and we get the desired effect after this what i will do is i will go into the uh, smaller rectangle now i will go to into add animation come down there and exit and i will choose wipe the wipe is in the upward direction i want it from top so i will choose the top direction top option now this is done now we will adjust it that is increase the size to 0.75 the second animation i will start it after the previous also the third one will start with previous that way both the second and third animation will start together the last one will be the one that will start after the third one so after previous now let's see how this looks we will hit play and this is beautiful this is exactly what we wanted what we can do is once we have got it all the way to the left we can also bring it back and for that what i will do is choose the second animation click on the options like effect options for the smooth effect it will be 2 seconds and auto reverse and click okay it will go all the way to the left and then come back similarly i can do it for the larger rectangle come down effect options the smooth end will be 2 seconds and then hit auto reverse and hit okay the larger rectangle will go all the way to the left and then come back now let's look how this entire effect looks come up here hit play and perfecto this is exactly what we wanted and this is the end of the third part now comes in the fourth and the vital part here you would see that in the upper slide there is no word that you can see but here you can see the word welcome very clearly and here's the main trick drag this rectangle down click on the slide right click on it and then choose format background after you choose format background the color that you will choose will be the same color that of a larger rectangle that is the golden color now this is done just close it drag your large rectangle on up to the top the margin will help you to make sure it is in the right place now this is done just go across in the animation pane and hit play and here's the effect beautiful perfecto this is exactly what we wanted we have actually come up with few more option that you can use and here are the options as you can see here's the first one of slides and cell and all these the ones that you are looking for are available absolutely free in the link given in the description below just click on the description and you would get all slides and the templates that you are looking out for at your place absolutely free and finally for watching this entire video thank you hope you enjoyed the video